Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's a wonderful new month. It's the month of March, and I welcome you into this glorious month, that as you step into the month of March, you shall march into all God has predestined for you, that his plans for you would never falter, that as you step into this month of March, that all of your heart desires, all that you truly, truly desire deep down from the depth of your heart, that it shall bring it into manifestation. In that sense, I welcome you to Across the Atlantic Ministry. My name is Okwebi Kaode. If you're new to this platform, you have not missed your road. You are in the right place. And for those who are keen followers of this platform, I also welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, as I share your word, let your word become lamp to the feet of men. Let them hear. Let it stir something in their heart, in their body, in their spirit, in their soul. And most importantly, let, them, let it lead them to that pathway, that internal pathway, that pathway of salvation. That at the end of the day, we shall all have the full cause to glorify your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. What is our topic for today? The chariots you see today. The chariots you see today. And this will take us to the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 to 30. You know, I've been, there's been a song that the Spirit of the Living God has been singing through my spirit. It's a Yoruba song. Said Agbara Olorupo, Agbara Olorupo, Ola no sorry Ogun, Owo Giri Jericho. And what does that song mean? The power of God is so enormous, it's, it's so big that it parted the Red Sea and it, it, it broke down the wall of Jericho. And this is. The, the, I've been singing this song for the past one week and I know there's a message the Lord is trying to pass through this song do you know what the Red Sea means there was a time I was watching a documentary and you know they were, it was called, it's called the Bible Expedition the Expedition Bible telling you um, factual things that some things that we regard to as mysterious that we've read in the Bible truly happened seeing the power of God, showing the power of God. So, I think the show of the Red Sea, you could see feats of people. A lot of feats of people. Down the, the, the depth of the shore of the Red Sea, you could see the, 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 the foot, foot, footprints of people. And then if you go, showing, showing with facts, going down the Red Sea, you will see wheels of chariots. You will see the, I mean, what the Egyptians were using at that time to chase after the children of Israel because this topic we're about to hear it, it, it basically explains the situation how God delivered the children of Israel from the hands of the Egyptians after God insisted that he wanted his people to be broken from the bondage of the Egyptians so this documentary was telling you how factual it was that this thing truly happened. That the Red Sea was truly parted. And that's one of the greatest miracles performed by our Lord in heaven. And I'll read. Chapter 14, Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 to 30. He says, And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. All that night, I made the Red Sea dry land and the waters were divided. The situation was, after God has delivered the children of Israel, who he has laid the plague on the, on, on, on the people of Egypt, after they became so, after God had in the heart of Pharaoh, when he said he was not going to let the children of God go. Fortunately for the children of Israel, yes, when he got to the ten plague, when God took the life of the firstborn of the Egyptians, the Pharaoh decided to let the people go. But God still had in his heart. Because sometimes God will harden the heart of your adversaries just to prove that he is God. 
so we told them to settle at at the point of Baus, I think Bausenefo. And that place would then lead them towards the Red Sea. And that Red Sea it then connects them to the to, to the to the wilderness. And then from the wilderness, I mean their voyage was towards Canaan. Now, Pharaoh had it his heart and sent the chariots down there. Okay, we are not going to let these people go. What has happened? What came over us that we even let these people go? And they chased after. They chased after the children of Israel. Now, the children of Israel saw this out of fear, out of panic. And that's why in different situations, when we have a Red Sea in front of us, we shouldn't fear, we shouldn't panic. Because worrying itself is a sin. Worrying is saying that I don't trust in God. Worrying is saying that, ah, I don't, I, I don't think I have any solution to this. And you have Jesus. Because he is the way. Because that red sea in front, he created the way. He's that truth as well. He made them fear him by parting that red sea. And he's the life. That means that he was ready to give life. He was ready to give life to these people. By not making it. I mean, by not making Pharaoh and his army take their life. And that life is most important, is the eternal life, the life of salvation. So when they saw the chariots and the army of the Egyptians coming towards them, they panicked. And they got really scared. I'm sure some of, some of them would have mumbled and said, oh, why didn't you just leave us in that land when we were just suffering? Hmm? And, and, and being bound. Bondage is a very bad thing. It works on the mind. It destroys the mindset and sometimes you can feel that bondage is even better than freedom the children of Israel almost thought like that and God created it he turned he turned night into day and day into night whereby he created a, a, a type of mystery where the Israelites had light on their sight and the Egyptians had no light and he told Moses to stretch forth his hand towards the Red Sea that's why you, you can see in 21 where it says, he says, I'm going to stretch out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon dry ground. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left hand. The waters became a wall. And they could walk on dry land. What is that red sea in front of you? That you feel like it is impossible to go past it. That God that did it that, that time still does it this time. I mean, it's omnipotent, omniscient, omniscient. There is nothing impossible for him to do. So if you got into this few months and you're still counting your losses, know that our Lord in heaven can part any red sea, he can break any Jericho that stands in front of your breakthrough. And so, and the Egyptians pursued. You see, that's the problem of the adversaries. The devil will never give up until he's totally shut down. That hardiness of the heart was God trying to prove to the children of Israel that I am your God. I am that I am. I will fight for you. Do you still believe that God can fight for you? Have you lost your faith in him? Have you lost your trust in him? He's still at beckon with his mighty hands to part the red sea that stands in front of you and yours. He said, the Egyptians, they pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all the Pharaoh's horses, his chariot and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning, watch the Lord looked upon the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of cloud and troubled the host of, Egypt, of the Egyptians and took off their chariots with them. Think about it. Would you say, Egyptians not have thought that this has happened people that went through this part of the Red Sea. You see, no, this is not a miracle. Are these ordinary people? But out of that stubbornness, they went. And that's how the devil chases after the righteous. But have you seen the righteous forsaken? No. But that's only when you stand. When you stand strong. When you trust and have your faith in the one who created you. 
ready to fight for you with his mighty hands. Who can part the Red Sea for you? Who can break the walls of Jericho for you? He said, He took off their chariot wheels and they drove them heavily. So that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of, the, of, of Israel, for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians. The Egyptians panicked and they, they, they trembled. They knew that, okay, no, it is beyond us. Regardless of all the witchcraft, the powers that the Egyptians thought they had. And that is how the devil should tremble in front of us. That is how the devil should tremble in front of, in front of you, brother. You put your whole trust on Jesus. The chariots that you see today, do you believe that God will part the Red Sea for you to pass through and swallow all those chariots? Follow all those adversaries. To round this all up, he said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand and over, over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength. When the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the middle of the sea, and the water returned and covered the chariots, and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that came into they see after them, they remain not so much as one of them. This is what you should take note of. Out of the hardiness of heart, out of their pride, out of their rage, out of their anger, they got swallowed up because they thought they had power. They thought they held bound the children of Israel that there is no way. And that's how the devil feels that there is no way go, that he has held you bound, that you are his captive. But out of the obedience of Moses, by stretching forth his hand again, from the power of the nostril, the wind that came from the host of heaven, what did he do? He closed back the sea that was parted and it was swallowed up. And I pray that that is how God will fight for you. Put your trust in him, and he will swallow up everything that stands as the chariots of the Egyptians. He will part the red sea for you, he will fight for you, but only if you put your trust in him. He said, But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall upon them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord said.